So welcome back to vSphere Upgrade, the inside track. I'm Kev Johnson. And I'm David Steeman. So the first thing we want to talk about in this episode is the pre-upgrade considerations, is product release notes. Now product release notes are super important because there's all kinds of information in there. It can be dry, it can take a long time to read through them, but there's a section in there, upgrade notes for this release. Now in that, in that section, we're going to detail things like blocked upgrades. And you know you need to definitely you definitely need to be aware of that. Yeah, not only for when you're looking at the upgrade release notes, but also mm -hmm. when you're patching because when you're doing a patch to a minor release, we might tell you about blocked upgrade paths again in the future. So sure. that's very important. And really, what some of those blocked upgrade paths are is what we call the back in time upgrade restriction because we're developing things at different times, and we might have one release that's released after another, and we don't want you to be that back yeah. in time. So, for example, six five update three was released out in July, six seven update two was released in April, and we're not going to allow you to do that blocked upgrade path. And so, when we release six point seven update three, you now had that supported upgrade path to move forward. But KB six seven. 077 really explains what that process entails and why we have these back-in-time upgrade restrictions in place. Yeah, there's a great big table on there that details oh, yeah. exactly which versions you can upgrade from and to, and it's, that's super important. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be honest here, I've definitely been that guy in the past who has just blindly upgraded without reading documentation. Mm -hmm. um, Snakes come out of your servers, everything's on fire, and you know, swarm of locusts. So please, please, please read the documentation. There's a lot of really, really good information in there. And you know, if, you, if you're doing your search and you land on, let's say, the details for vSphere 6.0, but you need to get to 6.7, there's a little drop down in the top right corner. And you can definitely just switch there, get the relevant information for you there. Yeah, it's very important too. And if you still need that offline documentation, maybe you're on the road, maybe you're in an offline environment, maybe you're jumping on an airplane, mm -hmm. you can still go to the top left corner and export to PDF to have that old style of documentation that isn't web-based. Absolutely. But we also have some really other important things to plan for your upgrades. We want to look at interoperability matrices. We have three types of them. The first one being the upgrade path interop. We need to understand what version from one to another because we talk about these back in time upgrade restrictions. Definitely. We're going to tell you, hey, these aren't supported. You need to make sure you're really understanding what those look you, like. You really want that green check, yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah. And so we also have the product interop. Is we're going to show you what two versions of VMware products are compatible with another because you don't want to upgrade your vCenter, then all of a sudden NSX stops working. Sure, you want to yeah. make sure you know what versions you need to go to and make sure you're upgrading them in the right order. Absolutely, and not every customer is just running vCenter and ESXi, so yeah. we, we definitely appreciate that, so please do check that. Yeah, we have that full SDDC. And then the last one we have is the database interop. Is we still have some solutions that rely on external databases, such as if you realize automation. So we want to make sure is as you're doing your upgrades and maybe even patching your database, you're looking at what those supported versioning are. Definitely, definitely. And one of the other things that we really want to call out here is the upgrade, you know, you know, the upgrade order, the order that you upgrade the products in. So if you've got NSX, if you've got the vRealize suite, all of those things, they, you, you must upgrade these in a very specific, very prescriptive order. So we detail all those on a KB. All, the, all those details are at vSphereCentral.vmware.com. Yeah, and you have to think about this, is that list is about 18 items long, and I think vCenter is number seven or so. Yeah. So before you actually start doing going through your upgrade process, you really need to plan and make sure you're doing the sequence in the right order. Definitely, definitely. And one of the other things that, you know, we, we've, we've made some real improvements in the documentation front recently is, you know, det details about network conne connectivity that's required. So historically, if you, were, if you had to figure out which firewall ports you needed to open between appliance A and appliance B, you'd have to download a PDF and hope that PDF was in you know, was the correct version. Okay. Now we've just got a website that's got all that information on for you. So if you need that information, if you need to figure out source, destination, which ports and protocols are in use, what those ports and protocols are used for, go to ports.vmware.com. Yeah, and whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the PSOD, we really don't like those. Yeah. But really, the, the largest reason that we have for the PSOD is hardware incompatibility. But okay. we have this great VMware compatibility guide that walks us through all the supported hardware sure. and drivers and firmware, the things that are important to our host. Yeah. And so traditionally, we can go down and do the CLI and find out all those unique identifiers. We then have to manually go to the compatibility guide and you don't You don't, you don't want to do that on a host by host basis. No, especially right? if we have like thousands of hosts in our environment. And so we have a couple of ways to do this. So one of my favorite ways to do this now is through the ESXi compatibility checker. This is a Flink, which are um, really tools that are developed by engineers that aren't supported by VMware support, but they're mm -hmm. um, kind of handled by the engineers themselves. And this one is really cool because it's a Python-based script you run against your environment. We don't need to know Python, right? It's super easy. Yep. We have really detailed how-tos. Yep. And not only does it tell us like the compatibility against our current server, but we can actually do up to, so we can check compatibility up to 
a future version. That sounds super helpful. That sounds really helpful. Yeah. But there's even more, because you can actually export to not only a CSV document, but you can also export to an HTML document and have that exported offline and say, hey, well, I have these thousand servers and I need to update these 10, these 20. So it's okay. really information that's, that there. sounds That sounds super helpful for when you're trying to figure out, you know, all that, that stuff that's stuck at 6.0 and you're going to yeah. have to replace it in order to upgrade. Yeah, we're so that's cool. And, and, and just, just on that, so where do you run that from? Do you run that from vCenter? Do you run it from, and is it- Just going to run it from your local machine you download it and, awesome. and go. So it's super easy to run and there's a video that actually explains how to use it in detail. And you just need Python? You just need Python. Fantastic. Cool. So when you're planning your upgrade, one of the things that's really important is to make sure that your environment's in a healthy state in the first place. You don't want to upgrade with known problems there because trying to unpick those and fix those after the event is a nightmare. Yeah. So we've got a couple of tools that we like to recommend. The first one is a tool called vCheck. So vCheck is an open source power, power CLI um, you know, it's, it's just a tool that, that was built initially by a guy called Alan Renouf, who wears 3D goggles for a living now. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of community resources, you know, plugins that have gone into there to check for things like stale snapshots, to check for disconnecting NICs and things like that. Even like vSAN and SRM now, there's so much stuff in there. It's, it is awesome. And you know, that's totally free. You just download it, you can schedule it to run, it can send your help desk an email every day or every week or whatever you need. Mm -hmm. um, definitely worth checking out. If you need some more in-depth information, um, there's also this thing called the VMware Health Analyzer. So if you speak to your technical account manager or speak to your partner, they're able to come in, they deploy an appliance which gathers a whole bunch of metrics from your environment, and they'll check it against no, you know, best practices, configuration, all, all of these things that are super important. And then they'll come back to you with a report which will take you three weeks to read because there's a lot of information in there. Yeah, and that's very important. But that's kind of it for the pre-upgrades and considerations. So please join us next time when we talk about the vSphere upgrade process. And for more information on some of the things we talked about, make sure to check out vSphereCentral.vmware.com. Thanks very much. Thanks.